Hi everyone and welcome to the 8 Crazy Nights of Hanukkah Projects Day 4. <laughs> I know I'm behind but I just made this in probably about half an hour. It's a super easy uh, banner that you can either put on your front door or you can mount it uh, with magnets on the refrigerator for Hanukkah and I use the Tim Holtz strip dye which is the paper rosette right there and um, I used the SCI Silver Valley Lodge paper and I used one sheet without any waste nothing left over makes exactly eight rosettes love that and the backing is just a piece of packing cardboard that I saved that happened to be just long enough perfect because it's more than a 12 by 12 so I couldn't use the chipboard so let me show you what I used um, the Silver Valley Lodge paper that I used um, again because I'm frugal with the way I use my paper I trimmed down e um, one and a half inch strips which is a little wider than the actual rosette die or the impression that it cuts out and I placed the paper from here to the end not covering the rosette base because once you cut the 12 by one and a half inch strip you get a little piece left over that fits perfectly over here if you didn't do it that way you'd have to use wider strips of paper in order to cover everything at the same time and you wouldn't be able to make eight so because I work in actuarial area, math is a strong suit. So one and a half inch strips covers this and gives you enough leftover to cut uh, the circle for the top and make eight out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So, and if anyone wants the dimensions, I'll include information, uh, everything in the information below or on my blog. So don't forget, um, some of the detailed photographs and recipes for all these projects are can be found on my blog which there is, there'll be a link in the description below. So this is what I made. It's a... Huh, oh, what's happening to the light? I promise you it's not disco. There you go. So I made this, um, I made each of the little rosettes and I attached them with hot glue, formed them with hot glue and they're on, some of them are on dimensionals and some are flat glue, hot glued to the board, to the uh, cardboard. And the letters that I used, I cut out of this um, Probercraft dies, and they were just the right size to fit nicely inside each of the rosettes. And I used, and I've gotten several questions. This is the funky foam that I use. It's the glitter sheets. They're nine by twelve. They could be die cut with sizzlets or the smaller uh, cuddle bug dies um, with the regular Sizzix dies they can be cut on the Cricut uh, you'd need to use the deepest setting and the highest pressure and medium uh, speed in order to cut this through this successfully without tearing um, so it is possible to use that and it's again it's a two step in one it's already a glittered letter that's cut out for you. So there you go. And um, if you want to place a couple of pieces of Velcro or, or that 3M removable wall mounting, you could totally put this anywhere. You could put this on your front door. Um, if I had thought in advance, I would have put uh, two eyelets and then run some um, seam binding and I could have hung it on my front door. So I'm not sure how I'm going to display this, but it really quick and easy if you don't have the Tim Holtz rosette die you could do this by scoring every quarter inch and you need a let me see how long the actual die is it's ten and a half inches the actual one and they just need to uh, accordion fold every quarter inch and you could do that if you have the Martha Stewart scoreboard or the score pal or you could just freehand it so there you go, really quick um, 
fourth day of Crazy Nights of Hanukkah, and then I'll give you a quick little sneak peek of what I'm going to do for day five, which I may actually do later today, because today is technically day five. I found this Happy Hanukkah Sizzix embossed lid. Well, actually, what are these called? Uh, impressions. And again, there's not a lot of Hanukkah stuff, so I kind of have to use my noggin, but I totally remember that I had this, and um, I'm going to use this and the German glass glitter that I have in blue and silver. So for those of you who are interested in seeing how to use that German glass glitter, that'll be the next project. If you have any questions for me or about any of the products that I used, uh, please leave me a comment. Don't forget to stop by my blog where I'll have the full recipe for um, all the products used, as well as close-up photographs, and um, stay tuned for day number five. Thanks for watching, everyone.